In this film, we're going to measure Comet station wagons against nine other wagons in the compact field. We'll cover Comet's price advantage in each comparison, as well as those specific features which give you a selling advantage with Comet. But first, let's quickly review the Comet wagon's overall selling advantages against the entire field. Here is number one. Comet is the longest wagon in its field. This not only contributes to Comet's fine car styling, but it also gives Comet wagons more cargo volume and more load length than all other wagons except Falcon. Comet is easier to load, too, with its flush, level loading tailgate. And only Falcon offers a loading platform as low to the ground as Comet's. In terms of safety, Comet wagons offer more effective braking area than six other make wagons. And only Falcon can match Comet's optional full width, full depth, full thickness dash padding or the safety design of the sloping underside of the dash panel to minimize knee injuries in case of sudden stops. Comet wagons have wide windshields and a large total glass area for maximum visibility. For example, only Falcon and Rambler Classic match Comet in windshield width. Comet and Falcon engines have smaller capacity crankcases and radiators requiring less oil and antifreeze than all but one other compact engine. The exception, of course, is the Corvair air-cooled engine. Comet alone offers full-size, full wraparound bumpers for best sheet metal protection and the generous use of chrome for handsomer styling. And no other compact station wagon can match all of Comet's 16 standard features that make it the most fully appointed wagon in its field, both inside and out. Well, those are some of Comet's many overall selling advantages. Now let's see how Comet wagons make out in individual comparisons with competitive wagons. First, Falcon. As we have seen, Falcon has the good fortune to share many of Comet's best features, such as overall dimensions, cargo capacity, and basic engineering items. In terms of suggested retail price, Comet wagons are within $85 of the plainer Falcon wagons both two-door and four-door. But without their optional trim package, Falcon wagons don't even approach Comet in style and glamour. For instance, standard Falcons lack Comet wagons body side molding, tailgate molding, bright roof drip line molding, and windshield and rear window moldings. Inside, luxurious cloth and vinyl upholstery is standard on Comet, extra cost on Falcon wagons. When you add the optional trim package to Falcon's suggested retail price, Comet is within $7 of Falcon on both two-door and four-door wagons. And Comet is way ahead on features. For instance, Comet is longer by nearly three inches. Now that important styling difference is something $7 won't buy. And it can't buy Comet's more massive wraparound bumpers either. The smart appealing bright work on Comet Wagon's instrument panel and control knobs is unavailable on Falcon 2. So are Comet's dual headlamps and gun sight front fender ornaments, plus automatic choke, and the extra comfort of contour seats, available in Comet's optional fashion trim group, is simply unavailable in Falcon. Even with their optional trim package, Falcon Wagons still don't match Comet Wagons in fine styling and are still without many important features that Comet offers as standard equipment. Now, let's compare Comet and Corvair wagons. And here is one Comet advantage right off the bat. Corvair offers no two-door wagons, only four-door models. In suggested retail list prices, the standard Comet two-door wagon is within $44 of the lowest price Corvair 500 wagon, and $21 less than the Corvair 700 four-door model. On the same basis, the Comet four-door wagon is within $87 of the plain Corvair 500 model and within $22 of the Corvair 700. But now, what do Comet wagons have that Corvair wagons don't have? Many things. For instance, Comet wagons are longer, wider, higher, and heavier than Corvair wagons and have a longer wheelbase. Comet's bigger size means better fine car styling, of course. And again, much more cargo space, more than 76 cubic feet for Comet, as against 58 cubic feet for Corvair. In their advertising, 
Corvair claims an additional 10 cubic feet of cargo space under the hood. But their ad fails to point out that this is where the spare tire goes in station wagon models. But even this space loss is minor compared to Corvair's low floor to ceiling height in the main cargo area, nearly six and a half inches less than Comet's. Having the engine under there is what robs the Corvair owner of this valuable space. And when the second seat is in use, there is hardly any cargo room left in the Corvair wagon. On the outside, the Corvair 500 wagon lacks a lot of bright work that is standard on Comet. Roof drip molding, windshield reveal molding, body side moldings, and back window reveal molding. Inside, the dual sun visors and front seat armrests that are standard on Comet wagons are optional at extra cost on Corvair models. And there are many standard features on Comet that are not available on any Corvair station wagon at any price, including dual horns, vinyl headlining, front fender gun side ornament, glove box ornament, and Comet's bright metal instrument cluster and controls. Nor is that all. Comet wagons have more room for people, more front and rear shoulder room, and more rear seat leg room. Not only that, Comet wagons have more room for cargo of all shapes and sizes more floor width, more interior height, more distance between seats and tailgate. And when it comes to loading, Comet wagons are noted for low height, level loading, flush line tailgates. Corvair wagons have an awkward top hinged lift gate. Another thing, Comet's standard rear window goes down into the tailgate, while Corvair's is fixed in its lift gate. What a difference that makes in ventilation, especially on 